Hey everyone, welcome back to the museum. Our September organism of the month has a body covered in spikes, horns on its head, and can shoot blood from its eyes. No, it's not a dragon. I'm talking about horned lizards. These animals are often called horny toads, but they definitely aren't toads. Horned lizards with their scaly skin and amniotic eggs are definitely reptiles. There are currently 21 recognized species of lizards within the genus Phrynosoma in North America. Each species has subtle differences, but they all have the same stubby body, small legs, and of course, bony horns on their head. Horned lizards are anteaters. An average size horn, wait a second, not, not that kind of anteater. There we go. An average sized horned lizard will consume anywhere from 30 to 100 ants in a day. That's a lot of ants for a lizard that can fit in the palm of your hand. In addition to ants, they'll sometimes eat termites, beetles, and grasshoppers, but mostly ants. Did I mention they eat ants? If ants could dream, they definitely have nightmares about horned lizards. One reason horned lizards are fascinating is because they're pretty much the opposite of other lizards found in North America. Take this collared lizard, for example. It's built to run with a skinny body, long tail, and strong legs. When they need to, they can even sprint on just those hind legs. Male collared lizards also have bright colors to help them attract mates. If a predator spots them, no big deal, they're super fast. Horn lizards, on the other hand, zig where other lizards zag. With that wide body and stubby legs, they're terrible runners. If a predator spots them, their tactic is to just to sprint for a couple feet and then freeze and let their excellent camouflage take over. They'll also flatten their body to make themselves difficult to swallow. For predators like snakes that swallow their prey whole, eating a pancake covered in spikes is not exactly an ideal meal. Most species of horned lizard also have another bizarre defense adaptation. They can actually shoot a stream of blood from their eyes. How do they do it? So they block blood from leaving their head, which builds pressure and quickly bursts the blood vessels in their eyes. Um, they can shoot a stream of foul tasting blood into the face of a predator up to five feet away. Not all species of horned lizard have this blood squirting superpower, but one of the species that does is the Texas horned lizard, and it's the animal featured on this month's limited edition collectible bio card. The Texas horned lizard is the largest bodied and most widely distributed horned lizard. Like they say, everything's bigger in Texas. These Texas horned lizard collectible cards are available free at the museum for September only. Next month, we'll have a new card. Now, unfortunately, the Texas horned lizard has suffered major population declines in the past few decades. Humans have destroyed a lot of their habitat, introduced new predators like dogs and cats, and killed off native ant colonies, getting rid of their favorite food, essentially. Invasive fire ants have also been a problem. Fire ants defend their colonies much more intensely and can kill a horned lizard. Thankfully, conservation organizations, zoos, and government agencies have stepped in to keep these lizards alive. Here in our basement display of Utah reptiles, we have a couple types of horned lizards native to Utah. Our website also has two fun horned lizard themed activities this month. First, we have this awesome horned lizard paper airplane template. Horned lizards can't actually fly, but don't tell them that. We also have a cool coloring page. If you bring your completed coloring page into the museum, we'll hang it up on our Organism of the Month art wall, give you a free bio card, and enter you to win free ice cream. That's it for this video. If you see a horned lizard in the wild, make sure you tell your parents' sisters to watch out because they eat ants. See you next month.